Hello, my name is Eldar Azvedo and I'm a solution specialist from Ergosoft and I'm here today with you to talk more about Ergosoft RIP. Ergosoft has been in the market for more than 25 years and during this period have gathering knowledge and experience that convert on ec excellent RIP software. In Ergosoft, you will find more than 1,000 devices supported that goes from printers to cutters and they vary in the application that you are working on. You can find for textile, you will find for UV and solvent and many other applications. For the people that are not used with the term RIP, RIP states for raster image process. And this is a process that is essential for the digital printing. When you are creating your image on your software of design, that data is not compatible with the printer. Then that data needs to go through the process of RIP that will do, let's say, a translation of the data to a language that the printer can understand that make it possible to be printed. Of course, the RIP the software is not just about the RIP. It comes along with a wide range of tools and features that will allow you to improve your creation of layouts, your workflows, and even keep track of your production. So everything combined creates a great solution for digital printing production. So stay with me and let's check the software. When you start the software, the first thing that will come up, it will be the control center. That is the main half of the software. And in here, you will find the main models of the software as a group of tools and features that will allow you to set up the software. Then, here on the first page, on home, you will have the job composer that will be the main model of the software where you'll be able to create your layouts, assign printers and cutters, and send the jobs to the queue. Then you have the queues that you can control for the production individually for each printer. So it means that every queue is connected to one specific printer. And then you have here the queue manager that can be seen as a database of your production where you will gather all the information about your individual queues and you keep track about what you are doing and you have done. And then there is the odd folder that is a model that will allow you to do some automation. But then, let's go to the job composer and check more about it. So here you have the job composer. Let's go for the overall view. So in here on this area you have what they call the job. As you can see all this white area is where you can create your layouts and here on top you can see the media width and here the media length. Of course the media width can be specified accordingly to your printer and the media length will be based on the size of the job that you desire. Here on the top you have these menus that are floating and you can drag and edit their position as you want. This will give you easy access to some of the most common tools and features that you need to use. Then, of course, here on the top, you have another drops menus that will allow you to reach another features and tools. Here on the side, by default, you will find the properties and actions that can be applied to uh, individual jobs or individual image. On this case, you cannot see from the image because it still didn't import one, but then you will gonna see it. And of course, you'll be able to see how many files you have on your job and even keep track of your queues. Then, before we start, I want to talk about something that's really important in the Job Composer. So here on the top menu, you have the menu of the print environments. And the print environment is a file specifically from Ergosoft and the print environment defines where and how you want to print. You can have as many as you want because you can have different printers plus you most probably want 
the printers to have different print modes and different qualities. So then you can have, as I said, as many as you want. So you can optimize the printer for the each application that you want to do. So before you create a job, you should select one print environment. So you need to decide in which printer you want to print and what is the goal. So in this case, I will choose the printer number one with the production mode for the media number one as well. Another one that's quite important is here on the side that is the cut environment menu where will allow you exactly to select your cutter that you want to use because on Ergosoft you can do print and cut in the same device or in separated device. Now that you have selected our print environment and even the cut environment you can start to create our layout and how we can do that. You can easily import an image by clicking on the right button and go to import image or you can go here directly to the icon of import. Now you can select our image that you want to import and then click open. But just let me tell you one thing, Ergosoft supports the most common types of files used in the industry. So you will not have problem in using your own files. So let's click and open and now we have to import our file and let's just bring it more close to us. So let's do something easy so you can understand how you could use it. So when you select the image, and if you remember, I told that here would show up the properties and actions that can be applied to an individual image or even to a group of image. And here you can find tools as scaling, rotating, print marks, color management settings, and replace colors. Of course, there is many others that you will be find and that you can find some more information in next videos. So for now, let's do something as just duplicate this image and I will duplicate it seven times. And here I have this image being duplicated along all the media width. One good thing to know is that the Ergosoft supports commands. So for example, if I click Ctrl Z, it just go back and undo my action. And for example, I can use the Ctrl D command to create copies. So it's good to know that you can use these commands to make even more easy your life when creating layouts. So at this point, I have create this job and I want to print this image. So how I can do it? I can go just here to the print icon. And when I click on print, this window will come up where I can set up some settings for the job as changing the name. Let's call it job one. And another thing that's quite interesting to know is that you can print multiple copies of your job. And what this means, for example, here if I send it to print, this file, this job will be ripped, but will just rip this group of image. And if I do multiple copies, it will print a larger file, but still will just do the rip from this group and will not do a larger rip file. This can be useful when you are printing large files that are just repetitions because you don't need to rip the full job but just a small part and then just duplicate it. But on this case let's just go with one copy. So let's send it to print. Since you send it to print you can see here on the queue that there is the process of rip but to be able to print and keep track of our production let's open our print queue. To, to open the print queue directly from the print environment here used, you can just go there and click. And here you have the print queue. And if you come here to the print tab, you can see the jobs that are waiting to be printed. And when you select the job, you can check here a preview of how your job looks, plus you can check some more information about it. And now to print, you need to come here to this top right where you have different levels of the print queue. So in this case it is offline so it's not going to print. But if you want to print you can set it as start manually and you can give the manual command to the job to be printed. This will bring you some more control over your queue. But you can always choose to have it online and as you can see the job is processed right away to the printer. And after the job is printed, you can come to the Done tab and you can check the information about it. 
So this is how simple it is to create a job and print it in Ergosoft. I hope that this information was useful for you and if you have some questions please write us an email to es.info at ergosoft.net. You can always follow our social network as YouTube, LinkedIn and Twitter there you will find more information and news about us. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye!